one of the best chicken I ever had last summer. Right, we had the opportunity to go um, out to Extreme Ridge Farmer, got the opportunity to see how they raise their chicken. Yeah, Wouldn't everyone came it. back and was like, that was the best chicken we ever had. And I was like, that is the difference of regenerative farm chicken. And yep. you can really taste that difference versus the, the emergency food assistance program chicken that we offer. We actually have two young girls that are guests of ours, but who have started to volunteer on the truck when we come out and their family she said oh our mom loves the chicken like she ate one to herself like throughout the week and brought it for lunch so I think that is just such an amazing impact for these families at the end of the day the children just take home a whole chicken at the end of the end, so they get so excited like look I got a chicken when their mom comes up or their dad comes up and there are a few children that go home on the bus so the bus driver gets you know every once in a while to help haul up all these little bags of chicken I'm the executive director of Listo's Preschool and Child Care. We're a bilingual Spanish and English program serving children ages 3 to 5. My name is Madeline Eppard. I am the coordinator here at Open Table where our mission is to feed everybody body and soul no matter what background you come from or what part of the city you live in. Hi, I'm Kim Wurst. I'm with the Sané Foundation and I work in the Nutritional Services Department. It's just one program where we distribute 2.4 million pounds of food to empower youth, improve lives, and unite communities across the metro area. This is Moo, and he is the one who puts away all this delicious food that we get locally. We are the Village Agricultural Cooperative. My name is Amanda Niggin Crowley, and our mission statement is to provide access to land provide resources and education and to grow the farmers and food producers of tomorrow with a focus on recent immigrant communities. I'm Chris Pangle with Harvest from the Heart. We're a food center in South Minneapolis and we serve about 250 families a day. 80% of them are primarily Spanish speaking and we're bilingual, try to cater to cultural needs and food fruit, vegetable, and meat. I think it's super important for us to be serving uh, healthy food in our community just because healthy food creates a healthy body and healthy body creates overall well-being and health. And I think it's really important for communities that maybe don't have access to a lot of foods or food choices um, or have food insecurities to be able to have healthy food that can fuel them and their kids throughout the day and week. We know that children learn better when they have a nutritious meal and that they're well fed and well rested and have all the surrounding community support. So having you know meals that they can take home that are really healthy, that is gonna give them the nutrition they need to grow their bodies and grow their brains is just amazing. You know, I've lived in Michigan, I've lived in Illinois and in Colorado. I've worked with local farmers all that time and the most recent ag census says that all those other states are losing farmers. Minnesota is one of the only ones that's gained farmers. But our budget for agriculture is lower than those other states. And a program like this, the opportunity to grow this, would be leaps and bounds for our department. We're very fortunate that we were able to apply for the grant, um, that we had enough staff to go through the process and make this happen. Um, I'm not sure every organization that works with immigrants or our smaller food shelves that are really stressed for money right now have that opportunity. Grant cycles are wonderful, especially if they're opened up for more people to be a part of. This program created such an impact on our community. Um, I think it's super important to not only help the farmers that produce this food to become more established and to help them overall. We are empowering farmers who do not currently have markets available to them and we are, we are purchasing food from them and then that food is going to our local food shelves. So we have identified several small local food shelves who don't receive the same amount of funding and benefits as our large local food shelf. And so we're very happy that we are able to both support our emerging farmers and support the smaller local, almost the same emerging food shelves. This grant has has really changed the way that our community um, can you know, receive food and healthy food at that. 